Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about linear layout in uh, Android. So the way language we are using in this tutorial series is Scotland. So let's start. So in our previous tutorial, we have uh, learned about uh, constraint layout. So, and this is our designer. If I go to its code, which is XML. So I'll remove this constraint layout and I'll make this uh, linear layout. So linear layout, this one, and I'll make a space. And uh, now if I go to design, we see nothing here. If I come again here, now this is constraint layout. So I have to remove this as well and make this linear layout. Now the error is gone. Now if I go to design and uh, now if I drag in a button here, now you can see a button here and now if I go to code, you can see a button here as well. Now I'll go to design again and now I'll drag in another button. Now you can see another button is added but it is added horizontally. Now if I add in a third one, so it will horizontally add into this. Now. We, this is horizontally added because the orientation of this uh, main linear layout, this one at the top, which is our parent layout. This one is uh, horizontal by default. If I make this uh, orientation vertical, and now if I go to design, now you can see these buttons. Now. If I go to code and uh, you can see here we have this uh, layout uh, weight. So this uh, layout weight is one and one part this button as well and one part this button as well. So it is dividing the whole as you can see here that the uh, width and height is rep content and then it is uh, this button is vertically taking all the uh, width or uh, all the height of this uh, a parent layout it is because we have given it a layout weight one for each button so it divides the uh, the screen in, as we have three button buttons so it divides the screen into three and then it uh, gave to every button a weight of one now if i remove this weight from here and uh, now if i go to design now you can see this button shrink to its content now if I go to code again and uh, remove this uh, as well and I remove this as well and now if I go to this uh, design you know you will see that these buttons have uh, shrinked itself to its content so I'll go to code and uh, I'll make this uh, each of button width match parent as well as this one match parent and the first one as well match parent right now if I go to design you will see that uh, each of the pattern has taken the full width of this screen now we will add in another linear layout inside this and in that we will use uh, or arrange uh, values in a horizontal manner so I'll make this uh, width, uh, width as match parent and uh, I'll make this rep content and uh, I'll uh, use the closing and now inside this I'll use some buttons so I'll use button and now I'll make this uh, uh, rep content and this one as well rep content and I will uh, add a text to this button text and uh, I'll use button and now if I go to design I'll close this tag and now if I go to design now you can see a button here this is is our linear layout which is uh, which we will make horizontal. Now if I go and add another button here or simply I will copy this button and add it into this linear layout. Control C this 
and now I'll control V this now if I go to design now you can see it is horizontally um, added into this linear layout now if I go to code I haven't mentioned here the orientation as horizontal so lin linear layout by default is uh, horizontal now if it uh, does not work you can uh, explicitly use orientation so if I use Android orientation and if I use here horizontal now if I go to design now you can see it is horizontal and now if I make this vertical again so these button will buttons will arrange itself vertically now you can see that it has arranged itself vertically so I'll make this horizontal now I'll add in another button into this so I'll copy this control C this and make some space and control V this now if I go to design now you can see another button is added here and I will copy it one time other control V and now if I go to design now you can see we have buttons uh, here now you can also mm, apply margins to this so if I use margins uh, margin 20 dp so now it will take this linear layout will take 20 dp from each side now as it cannot hold all the buttons so that is why it shrank this uh, button this one and uh, its width increased so I'll make go to code and make this uh, 10 dp so if I make this 10 dp and go to design now you can see all the buttons are uh, have um, placed itself equally now if I run this on uh, emulator so now you can see that it is running on the emulator and this end button has uh, uh, created get a bit more uh, height more than the other buttons because there is not uh, any space or more on this uh, emulator so that is why it shrank its button and uh, 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 as we have wrapped content in this so that is why it uh, it will increase here so I think that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you